Hi, I'm Derek Dunktrain Arabian. I play for Cloud Nines Heroes of the Storm team. Derek, how did you get involved in esports? Well, the technical alpha for Heroes of the Storm actually started just after I graduated college. So I decided to basically just go for it, right? Chase my dreams since I've wanted to play competitively for a long time and I'd never really given it an honest shot. So when those timings just lined up, I went for it and eventually uh, I ended up getting found by Liquid Chef, who put me on the Liquid team for the BlizzCon exhibition and things just kind of rolled with, from there. Did you play competitive games before this? So, like, did you play uh, League of Legends or Counter-Strike, anything like that? Yeah, I did play a lot of those games. I mean, I've been playing the genre for 10 years, like Dota, you know, basically Heroes of New Earth, League of Legends, I played all the variants of the genre. So when this was coming out, it just felt right at home. I had never been on like a professional team for any of those, but I had been playing at high rating for a long time. So talk about the day, a day in your life when you, when you, from when you get up to when you go to bed. What's your day like? I get up, play video games, and then go to bed. <laughs> um, but really, I don't, I don't know. It's just pretty chill. We don't have a team house or anything. Like our schedule's not that strict yet. So kind of just hang out. My team is my friends, I'm lucky enough. So we just play all sorts of video games together even when we're not practicing and that's just my average day. What separates a pro Heroes of the Storm player with a, a player who's just really good at Heroes of the Storm? I think the difference probably comes when you actually end up on a team of five that has sponsors. That's probably the biggest deal. It can be difficult to find enough time to actually play competitively, get the practice time you need to maybe break into the scene until you get, you know, five guys sponsored so you can actually invest into it. That's probably the breaking point. And what's it like to be actually be able to play video games for a living? It's actually, there aren't words to describe how awesome it is to, like you're, I don't know, for me at least, I've always been into this stuff, so to actually get a chance to do it is just like the most rewarding thing ever. Getting up on stage and like hearing the crowd energy and feeling that, getting to play these high stakes games is just so incredible. What advice would you give to someone who wants to go pro in Heroes of the Storm? Hmm. If you want to go pro at Heroes of the Storm... Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, I, it sounds cliche, but you're going to need to practice. Make sure you have solid mechanics and also try to be a cool guy and like make friends with the high level players because that's the only way you're going to get into a team is if you know people or whatever. Um, it's just really difficult. That's probably the hardest part is managing like a relationship of five people. You know, the team has to spend so much time together. So just do your best to be, you know, not only good at the game, but like a good person that people want to hang out with and have on their team. Where, uh, where would you like to see esports five years from now? Five years from now, I want to see esports obviously grow. I mean, that has to be the simplest answer. But realistically, I think we can expect to see in the next five years that esports is pretty mainstream. Probably starting to see it now. We're even seeing bar crafts and stuff like that. So you're seeing a lot of more public knowledge of esports, even with Here's the Dorm being on like ESPN. Not that I necessarily think esports need to be on ESPN, because I think a lot of gamers prefer Twitch anyway. But, you know, Hey, I mean, the more mainstream engagement you get, the more it can grow, the more money in the scene, the more people that can actually sustain themselves doing it, and better for everyone all around. How do you guys get prepped for a big uh, game you're about to play against another team? Do you guys watch replays? Do you drink? Do you have like a ritual you guys do? No. <laughs> we don't have any rituals or anything. We just kind of chill and try and get our heads on straight. Going into your next game, what's your mindset right now? Going into the next game, I think everyone's just really focused. Our next match is for the winner's bracket of Group A against Tempo Storm, and it's just really important to us that we win that match so we can advance to the round of four already and not have to worry about playing an extra match tomorrow. So we're just really trying to you know, get focused for that.